Happy Wednesday, this is Philosophical coming live from Topanga Canyon, California. This place is magnificent. As you can see here, the, the spirit of Gaia is vibrantly alive and just thriving here and the clouds are shining in all sorts of dragon shapes and such. And uh, the title of this video is Heartfulness. And a lot of spiritual teachers talk a lot about cultivating mindfulness, like Thich Nhat Hanh and other Buddhist teachers. But this video is about heartfulness because I feel like I'm able to be more in the present moment and moving with gentle ease if I'm, if I'm in the heart instead of in the mind. So I feel like heartfulness is basically the same thing as mindfulness, but just putting a new spin on it so that it's more easy to kind of feel into it where if I just put my hand on my heart it helps me to bring my awareness down into my heart and um, one of the uh, Native American elders that I've learned from he he said the hardest journey to walk in life is only 12 inches long from the mind to the heart and um, I feel like every single day when I wake up I do my my usually like two hour yoga practice and I kind of see it as it's my commute to work it's like I have this two hour commute to get from my mind to my heart because I've got all this uh, this residual conditioning to be focused on my mind just having non-stop thoughts and it really feels a lot better to be focused in the heart and I feel like there's so many amazing tools and strategies and techniques and practices of getting into the heart. I would love to hear what your favorite ones are, ones that you're cultivating. Um, just a few that I like to use. Regular yoga and exercise really helps me. Um, but I really feel like there's, well not but, I'm striving to not use the word but as much because most times you can just use the word and instead of but. Um, but anywho, I feel like all five, the main five senses, the main five senses, there's tools of those five senses that can help us get into a state of heartfulness. So feeling, you can get a massage from a friend or self massage and that helps you br bring yourself into the heart. And a cool meditation that I've been doing recently is um, just imagining all like f different friends of mine one at a time and just feeling like I'm receiving a hug from them, feeling their love. And that just helps me come into the heart so easily. Um, and so another scent, another sense is scent, aroma. So I like to burn Palo Santo, which my wonderful friend made me a little necklace with some Palo Santo on it. It's sacred wood from Ecuador. You can burn it like incense. Um, also essential oils, things like that just help to um, bring me into a state of heartfulness. Um, taste, I love just eating foods. That helps me bring into the present moment and just like warms my heart when I have some delicious food. As you've seen in many other videos, probably I love making delicious smoothies. Um, another scent or another sense is listening or hearing and in line with that speaking. So I love listening to music that brings me into the heart. I was just listening to my, my good friend Brother Ong. If you're watching, some of your music was helping me come into the heart. Um, but especially singing for me does it really well so I'm gonna end this video with a little song that will hopefully help me cultivate some heartfulness and inspire you to do the same this song I learned in seventh grade chorus class so here we go Jikalema <sighs> weni dia hamba Jikalema weni dia hamba Jikalema weni dia hamba Jikalema weni dia hamba Aji kamadula jikem godeni 
Haji kill rade be, Haji kill is with me. Haji kama do la G K M go de ni. Haji kill rade be, Haji kill is with me. G K L ma weni di a hamba. G K L ma weni di a hamba. G K L ma weni di a hamba. Njikele ma weni di a hamba Aji kama dula ji ke em gode ni Aji ke rade be Aji ke les we mi Aji kama dula ji ke em gode ni Aji ke rade be Aji ke les we mi Ha 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 Only love, only love.